understand something. Our founding fathers were geniuses. They wrote this constitution in 1787. Do y'all realize that? We're talking 233 years ago, right? Okay, if my math is correct. 233 years ago. There have only been 27 amendments or changes to the Constitution in 233 years. And get this, the first 10 out of the 27 were done immediately. So basically, we've only had 17 changes. Is that not amazing when we think about how far we've come, all the changes that have occurred in the world, and we still have only had to amend our Constitution 27 times, really 17 in the last 200 years. Does that not amaze you? Mm -hmm. Okay, it is amazing. Like, um, and some of the changes were, were you know, um, interesting. So, uh, like you have, you know, the right to vote for women is one of them. Uh, abolition of slavery is one of our amendments. Um, the right to vote for African Americans is one of them. We um, have, you know, citizenship is another one. Uh, one of them that's in the most recent that's been in my lifetime is, I believe it was the 26th Amendment, and they lowered the voting age from 21 to 18. Does anyone know the reason why they might have lowered a voting age from 21 to 18? Nobody? Our young men were getting sent to Vietnam at 18. And they said, if we are old enough to go, to, to be drafted and go and fight for our country, shouldn't we be old enough to vote for those people that are sending us there? Is this a valid reason? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, just Miss Hill's opinion, and you don't have to share it. Personally, I don't know why we didn't raise the draft age to 21. Then you could have voted at 21. Or do you think you're prepared to vote at 18? Some people probably are. Some people at 18 are probably not really informed. But you know what? There are some people that are probably 50 and aren't really informed, right? So I guess it depends upon the individual person. All right, so here we come out with our Bill of Rights. You're going to have to memorize them. Bill of Rights, highlight this, first 10 amendments to the Constitution. First 10 changes to the Constitution. And let's talk about it. Now, Miss Hill can talk about these all day long. I literally could teach an all day lesson on this, but we'll go through this fairly quickly, okay? Your first amendment to the Constitution is your freedom. It it's, it's guarantees you five freedoms. You have freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, Freedom of assembly and freedom of petition. Okay? Those are guaranteed freedoms that you and I have. So, let me just ask you a question. Because of the time period we are living in, in, in 2020 at the moment, and with different things going on. So, if the governor comes out and says... We're shutting down churches and you can't go to church. Does that go against your Constitution? Yes, it does. It goes against your Bill of Rights. However, if you don't know what the Bill of Rights says, do you just blindly obey? Okay, you guys, you need to always be informed. Okay, and, it, and it's up to you to, to be informed a lot of times, okay, because I can only hit the high points on stuff. So it's up to you to research and be informed. And, and you can't just blindly, just if someone tells you something, you, you need to know if it's right or not, okay? And so you have freedom of religion, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, guys and gals, does not mean that you can say anything. Do you all understand that? You cannot go into a movie theater and yell fire. That is not freedom of speech. That puts lives in danger, and you cannot do that. So you need to understand your freedom of speech doesn't, doesn't allow you to say just anything you want at any time. Freedom of the press, 
okay? Uh, freedom of assembly. We have the freedom to gather, okay? If someone tells you that you cannot gather more than 10 people at your home, is it going against your constitutional freedom? Yes. And we have freedom of petition, okay? Number two, you have the right to bear arms, okay? That's one of the freedoms that is very controversial. Um, there's people on both sides of the aisle on it. It, it kind of, people are divided, but uh, it is one of those freedoms that people are constantly fighting to keep. I will tell you that. No lodging of troops in private homes. How many of you remember the Quartering Act from previous chapters? That's why we have this one. We do not have to lodge troops in our private homes. No unreasonable searches and seizures. How many of you remember in previous chapters the writs of assistance? Where they could just come into your home and search without a reason. What do they have to have to get into your home now? Search a search warrant. It's guaranteed. That's one of your freedoms. Uh, protects the rights of the accused. How many of you ever heard or read in a book or heard on TV someone says, I plead the fifth. Okay, so you might want to put that beside your notes if you want. That means you do not have to testify or your, you or your spouse do not have to testify against you. You do not have to testify against yourself or your spouse, okay? That's what it means when you say, I plead the fifth. I'm not going to testify against myself. You have the right to a speedy trial by jury. You're not going to sit in jail for 10 years waiting on your trial. You have the right to a jury trial in a civil case. No excessive bail and punishment. If you steal a piece of candy, they're not going to, and you should not steal a piece of candy, mind you, but they're not going to put you in jail uh, for 10 years and make your bail a million dollars. you understand? Okay. Powers reserved to the people. We have powers reserved to us and powers reserved to the states. The states have certain powers. We have that federalism, that sharing of powers. You will have to know this for the test. I want you to put this in your memory. I want you to not just memorize it for the test, just memorize it for yourself as a citizen of the United States. You need to know what your rights are. Okay? Do I have any questions on this? Comments? Did we learn something today? All right.